What's up, Leo? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to do your July. Taking a look at your energies regarding relationships, romance, and love. Now, I know, you know, I've gotten a couple comments here from people who said that, you know, they're not really into, you know, relationships or they're not looking for love. Well, then you really don't need to throw in a comment, right? Because that's not what you're looking for. So why would you waste your time throwing? And I'm not saying you, Leo. I just remember reading, you know, someone had thrown a comment. They're not really, I'm like, okay, well, you didn't even have to throw the comment in there. It's not for you. It's not what you want to see. But anyway, we're using the Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot to deliver your messages. Uh, Leo, if you've been with me for a minute, you know this says um, double energies. Two lovers, two emperors, and two devils, right? So if you receive any of the two, then it's double the strength of that energy for you. All right. And also, I'm going to be throwing, again, you know, some cards from my own created deck. What's on their mind, Oracle? I love this deck. Okay, beautiful messages, if you didn't see it. So, energies for Leo, July 2024. Looking at uh, energies for single Leos, Leos who are into partnerships. This is for um, Venus, uh, Sun sign uh, Leo, uh, Moon sign. Did I cover it? Sun sign, Moon, Rising. Venus, okay. Energies for Leo. Not reading reversal. What is the potential energy for Leo in the month of July when it comes to those relationships? Oh, by the way, those Leos who celebrate their birthday in July, I want to throw that in there. Happy birthday. Happy safe birthday celebrations for Leo the Lion. All right, we're going to begin with the first card. And you know what? Cancer started off with the Nine of Swords. So what is going on here? All right, so let me uh, just run this through. Um, one more time. Because of the Nine of Swords opening your energy up here, Leo, it doesn't you know, mean that it's going to be for every Leo that comes and sees the video. It's going to be here for someone, for sure. Like I stated in uh, Cancer's video... The tower. Now, in the tower's instance, Cancer did receive the nine of swords in the tower. That was their very last card. But I read the tower energetically as sexual energy. So this here, however, is that someone, okay, is fearful, um, still dealing with some sort of confusion or doubts or unsituated. It could be past hurts. And you're feeling like you're out on the ledge because, you know, secretly, it could be secretly or, you know, known to you or others that you want to enter into a relationship. But it has a lot to do with you trusting because of uh, not wanting to be hurt in another relationship. Someone may have deceived you. Someone may have, you know, psychologically abused you, mentally abused you. Um, cheated on you, betrayed you. That's all of the energy of the Nine of Swords. It's usually having to deal with uh, unresolved, conflicting energies internally or externally. But whatever this Nine of Swords here may mean for you, Leo, it is here. But it's not going to be for everyone, okay? Um, I don't want to extend you know, the messages out too grand because I want to keep this simplified here. So I won't throw in the next thing that was coming to me. Or maybe I will, but I'll just be, um, you know, professional about it. Maybe somebody was essayed in a relationship. That would be the nine of swords. Okay. Sexually abused. All right. So on top of that nine of swords here, we have the ace of swords. Ace of swords here is a fresh start, a new beginning, uh, victory and success. So, you know, if you come to... Having to, you know, um, some resolve involving, you know, fearful of moving forward into a new relationship. You know, you worked on those energies or you will be working on those energies. Now here with the Ace of Swords, you achieve some sort of victory and success that you can attach to, you know, um, not coming to like complete resolution, but, you know, making an effort to put, you know, whatever past hurts that you dealt with behind you. Now, here's the card that starts you off fresh. Communicating, clearing up confusion, uncertainty, or doubts, right? Seeking excitement or adventure. 
and there's a great deal of uh, determination. This is also too could be regarded as new conversation, first actions, and first moves. Following the Ace of Swords here for you, Leo, we have the Nine of Cups. Cancer had the Nine of Cups on top of the um, Nine of Swords. So I have several messages that came through. This represents relationships. Okay, yes, answer to all romantic questions. Not an even number of cups, but what you give is what you give back. And, you know, I've been saying in these past videos here, uh, recent videos that I have recorded, that anytime you receive the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups in your spread, Leo, it's an accomplishment or achievement of, you know, getting that emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment based on um those relationships in this case we're talking about romance we're not including any other area or aspect of your life now this also too i equate with that of the star card so again people could be looking for love through social networking media whatever it is that is you know comfortable for you now but because it mirrors this nine of swords here again it re you know relates to um some Leos may be not wanting to or trusting um, to enter into new relationships because of, you know, what you've dealt with in a past relationship, the struggle, the fear, the hurt, the betrayal. But remember, what's on top of the Nine of Swords is the Ace of Swords. That's the fresh start for you. OK, so if you were, you know, you're going to start off fresh and, and, you know, deal with those energies that may or may not have been, you know, uh, resolved just yet. Following the nine of cups here, we have the hermit. Major Arcana, the hermit is a neutral energy for me. So it could be that, hey, you know what, with the nine of swords here, you go internal. OK, you you withdraw or you just, you know, I don't like isolation, but you, you know, detach your energies to think about those relationships or think about, you know, you could be an existing relationship or you could be um, that single Leo out there who has dealt with past hurts, fearful or doubtful, unsure about wanting to move forward in another one. So you need this time alone here uh, to think about things and, you know, you'll arrive at the answer that you need. OK, and you're not going to stay in this mode too long. On top of the Hermit here, now we have the Knight of Swords. Again, taking charge, action. Use this against the Nine of Swords, you know, that you're taking charge. Because I always talk about the Knight of Swords being in the past, having to do something that's related to your past. So it could be that um, for some Leo that I'm reading for specifically, cleaning up that Nine of Swords energy. All right. So that you can move forward in a, you know, in a fresh start, new beginning, the Ace of Swords. This is a card that's um, about communicating, confusion, clearing up that confusion, uncertainty, and or doubts, fear. Okay. Following the Knight of Swords here, um, Temperance comes in to uh, restore that peace, balance. It is a relationship card. This is loving yourself, Leo, knowing your worth. Being at peace with yourself, but it also could be the extended energy out to romantic partners who are um, with you now in commitments. Or it's the potential of energy that could come to you if you are the single Leo and you're looking to enter into a new relationship. This is part of your energy. It represents Sagittarius specifically, though. Seven of Wands here when it comes to actions or decisions. Uh, Leo, make sure that you are moving forward. Uh, with those actions and decisions and connect that energy to your relationships. Now, I say that because the seven of wands here mirrors over here to the nine of cup. I'm sorry, the nine of swords. If you come to some sort of resolution or you worked on those energies and you think that this is what's going to be um, best for you and helpful to you, move forward with that. Because if you don't, then you'll end up regretting your decision on your choices on top of the seven of wands here we have the knight of cups okay so again 
you have another card here that represents an achievement of emotional happiness, satisfaction, and as well as fulfillment. The male here is surrounded by all these females, but of course the energies can be exchanged. It could be a female with all males. And it's about those Leos who are in current relationships and again, establishment of what you're giving is what you're getting back. All right. The Knight of Cups also has the potential of bringing in or uniting new romantic relationships. Following the Knight of Cups, now we have the Seven of Cups. So, you know, you guys are getting very good cups here. Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, as well as the Knight of Cups. This here is options when it comes to romance. There are options out there for you single Leos if you are interested uh, in connecting. Okay. Now, debauchery just simply means... Uh, I don't use that too much, that you just are fine and good at just sleeping around. If that's what you're into, so be it. But, you know, there is a greater instance of love and devotion uh, either um, coming from you towards those people that you're committed to or it's coming from them to you. Following the Seven of Cups here, now we have the Two of Swords. So Two of Swords, a choice of two. There's two people going on here. You could be interested in two people, but you got to narrow that choice down to one. Same sex loving energy for me. Uh, just feeling like you're at a um, crossroad, minor anxiety. Uh, I don't feel that it's um, too big of a deal to have this. There's a choice here. You have to make a choice. And remember, it follows the seven of cups in terms of multiple people who could be available to you. On top of the uh, Two of Swords, then we have the higher font. So you got um, protection, okay. Um, some of you could be experiencing spiritual uh, enlightenment or energies related to relationships. Could be spiritually guided if you know, you're know you single to um, enter into that partnership that you've been longing for. Someone could be getting married here for sure. Okay, so you have the higher font in the month of July watching over you, protecting you. Then we have the high priestess. Major Arcana that comes through, um, trusting your intuition again. Okay, mirrors over here to the Seven of Cups. So when it comes to those options, even though you have the Two of Swords here, that there may be just more than one, but you have to you know, narrow your choice down to one. The billowing smoke is the air or mystery surrounding um, a particular person or a relationship. Opposites attract here, okay? Um, more than likely, less likely is for you to understand of trusting your intuition, Leo, in the month of July. The high priestess comes through to um, help guide you. Also, too, secrets are being kept either by you or um, being kept from you. Attach that to any relationship energy. Okay, following the High Priestess, now we have the Three of Cups in the form of celebration, joy, happiness. Okay, you still could be celebrating someone's birthday, your own birthday. Comes through, the Three of Cups. There's something to be happy and joyous about. Definitely spending quality time with your romantic partner. In this scenario here, Three of uh, Cups is a uh, social energy and invitations. Any single Leo out there who gets invited out by family members or friends, don't turn down the request because there are people out there to meet and you never know what could happen if you, you know, take it upon an invitation and, and you know, go out there socially and have a good time. On top of that, now we have the Three of Swords, contradictory energy here. And I just said that when the Three of Swords shows up here in the Nine of Swords, as well as the Tower, it's here for someone specifically. So the Three of Swords here is always about separation, anxiety related to, um, you know, third party in play. It could be, uh, you know, couples that are together still, but there's separation or distance. I'm sorry. Distance that separates them. Divorces, uh, pending divorces. Uh, 
someone deals with a painful situation in the month of July. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. It's always involving relationships because that's what the Three of Swords, um, for me at least, represents. All right, so the last card I have for you, Leo, is the uh, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, uh, we're not talking about pay raises or anything like that. This is an apology that may be forthcoming to you. And then it's a balanced type of energy. So, you know, what you give is what you're going to get back. So if there was anything going on with you uh, related to, you know, uh, current relationships and, you know, something just goes, you know, wrong or there's some sort of disagreement or something like that and you know the person that you're in a relationship with or you're, that you're dating then they come back and um offer some sort of i'm sorry or i apologize for my behavior or for what i said that type of energy all right so this is what i have for you um generally leo for the month of july let's throw some cards here from the uh what's on their mind article uh and to be honest with you this spread is not too bad okay it's not bad at all so even though we do have the nine of swords and the three of swords here in your spread, it's not going to be for everybody. Uh, and don't regard, yeah, your reading doesn't become the three of swords or the nine of swords when it's surrounded by all of this other positive energy. The seven of cups, ace of swords, nine of cups. You have the uh, temperance card, the knight of cups. Okay, you have the higher font. But, you know, people come and see the video and it's like, oh, the nine of swords, three of swords. I don't know why. Come on. This here says keep it moving. Okay. That could be a message uh, coming towards you or it's a message coming from you towards them. Keep it moving. Uh, someone needs help here. Yep. Nine of swords, three of swords. There is a commitment, however, that's coming to you, Leo. And the fourth and final card here is I'm dealing with my insecurities. Three of swords, nine of swords. All right. So this is what I have for you um, this time around, Leo, in the month of July. Looking at romance and love, relationships, 2024. So just take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Please, however, like the video, uh, comment on the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys enjoy um, the month of July, especially your birthday, right? And um, remember to keep smiling, Leo, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.